New Year's resolutioners, how many of you have run into this problem? You start the year out on a fresh new slate, feeling super motivated with brand new goals of everything you want to accomplish, only to start trickling off and losing steam about a month later. Let's be honest, a lot of us don't even make it a week, let alone a month sometimes. If this sounds like something you've experienced, you've probably been left feeling like somewhat of a failure and like achieving those goals is just not gonna happen this year. Well, I have good news for you, and that's that you are not a failure and that achieving those goals is not impossible. A lot of times there's nothing inherently wrong with the goals that we set, but instead more of the mindset towards them. Let's dive into this. So why do New Year's goals or setting goals in general seem so problematic for a lot of us? In retrospect, the idea is pretty straightforward. I mean, we all make it another 365 days and then we set our sights on some things that we wanna accomplish in the new year or in the upcoming future. Some common ones that I often see are that people will set too many goals for themselves or set too big of a goal right out the gate. Other times people will set goals that they don't really align with or they don't really know why they want to do the goal in the first place. And other times people will literally just overcomplicate things. Again, a lot of these are common mistakes, but they are easily fixable if we just change our angle of approach. That being said, the first thing that I recommend doing is changing how we conceptualize making goals and New Year's resolutions. This is key for changing how we think about a goal and thus how we go about completing it. To give you an example of what I mean, I try to steer away from making brand new goals. Instead, I oftentimes try adding on or stringing together my pre-existing ones. Why this is helpful is because it promotes focus and creates consistency in whatever I'm working towards. I could say, for example, I need a side hustle to make some extra cash this year. Or I could shift my thinking a little bit and say, I wanna make some extra cash this year. What skill can I improve or what other skills can I leverage to accomplish this? One of these only promotes starting something brand new, which again, there's nothing wrong with, but the other promotes leveraging pre-existing skills or things that you're already doing, which makes it easier to jump in and start making progress. Speaking of jumping in and making progress, when I do in fact make new goals, I make sure to give myself several action items to get things going. How are you gonna reach your destination if you don't have any routes planned out, right? Setting action items to get done in the beginning and checking them off the list promotes self-confidence and self-confidence is one of the strongest influencing factors for you achieving your goals. So make sure when you start something new, you plan out some solid first steps to get the ball rolling. Also, whether it's pre-existing goals or new ones, make sure you identify a strong why for getting it done. You can think of your why as sort of like your compass. Anytime you get lost, a compass is gonna point you back in the right direction. So your why is gonna do the same thing for your goals. If things ever get hard, which they will, or if you end up losing sight of why you even started in the first place, having a strong why will always help you get back on track and re-motivate you to keep going. Okay, let's shift gears real quick and talk about short-term versus long-term goals. Real quick, both short-term and long-term goals are useful. I just focus on making long-term goals more because they provide more value for what I want. Breaking down the two of them though, I think short-term goals are great for things like building confidence, practicing different habits, experimenting and trying out different things, stuff like that. Overall, short-term goals are literally just that. They're short-term goals. So oftentimes they don't really require much effort or commitment or resources to get them done. So it's easier to get started on them. Long-term goals, on the other hand, are great for things like practicing and developing discipline, making life changes and habits, creating consistency and longevity in your progress or in whatever it is that you're pursuing. Obviously, long-term goals are going to require way more of an investment for you, but the payout is almost always worth more in the end. A great example to sum both of these up would be saying something like, I want to lose five pounds versus I want to start exercising every day. Both of these are pretty simple and straightforward tasks, but with one, you're set on losing the five pounds and then that's it, nothing more. The other one is focused on just exercising daily, but overall, you'll probably end up losing way more than your five pounds and gaining way more health benefits in the end. So something else that I wanna to touch on really quick while we're closing out this video is literally just to keep things simple. Whether it is short-term goals or long-term goals, you don't have to have all the details planned out from the jump. Um, I feel like a big reason why a lot of people end up getting stuck in the first place is because they set goals that are super, super specific way too early in their process. And this can be really overwhelming, especially if things don't go according to plan. As I mentioned earlier, I like to build onto pre-existing goals, meaning I expand my goals over time. So oftentimes they start out as very simple, basic, general ideas. And then from there, I put most of my focus into just maintaining progress in whatever it is that I'm doing. If you take this approach, this gives you way less pressure on failure 
derailing any part of what you're trying to do. And it also gives you space to just be present in the process. Being present is key for observing and making changes or improvements along the way. You get a chance to find out what you like versus what you dislike, what it is that's working for you and what's not working, when you should add more things to your task list versus back off and maybe just chill out for a second. The list goes on and on. If you set out to tackle something and you're feeling overwhelmed before you even start, chances are you need to simplify things before giving it another go. Anyways, guys, that's all for today's video. I hope that you were able to gain some value from this and kickstart 2023 or whatever goal you're looking to start with a bit of an extra edge. I'll be dropping another video soon on how to maximize productivity as well as some more fun content. So if that sounds good to you, please be sure to subscribe and support the channel. Other than that, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.